a hell of a deal. Okay, Jiggy Jag TV at the uh, Planet Comic Con, and uh, I have found the booth, the headlock booth. Mr. Kingston, how are you, sir? How's it going? So, uh, they've got you in, in like an area this year. Tell me about your, your setup. Hey, you know, I thought uh, I didn't really have anybody coming with me this year. I figured I'd try it out in the uh, artist section and see how it goes. Yeah. It's pretty good so far. Can't really complain. So, uh, we're out here doing it. Now, you got in on, uh, you went to a uh, indie show on Thursday. Yeah, Journey Pro was in uh, over the park. It was a lot of fun. Joey Ryan was there. Uh, sold a bunch of books, so it's definitely uh, kicking off the weekend to a hot, you know, a hot start. So that's awesome. Now, uh, one of the people that hit, that does artwork for you is Mr. Joel. Correct. Who we talked to a couple years ago out here. Um, you go to all these indie shows all over the place. Um, I went to an indie show, and of all places. Dyersburg, Tennessee last year. Um, uh, that's a huge story we don't have time for here. But uh, at the end of the show, I was amazed that like nobody hung around at the end of the show. It was just over. People got in their cars and left. Am I, am I missing something? Shouldn't they have hung around and signed autographs to the marks or something? Or was it just, you've taken your money, you've seen the show, bye. On some level, you gotta figure how much you think they get paid to do that. You know, you want to, you want you want to get home. I'm sure they didn't get them a hotel, so you know, you want to be driving four hours home, half asleep. You know, these guys want to make it home in one piece. So uh, you know, they probably just figured, you know, I got my, uh, I got my modest payday, and now I'm gonna get home before I fall asleep and end up as road pizza. Okay, <laughs> end up as road pizza. So, uh, any what, what's the newest stuff you've got here? Uh, I got some stories I wrote for the WWE comics. I co-wrote a story with Samoa Joe in this book, and I co-wrote a story with AJ Styles in this book. I wrote a story about Bret Hart in the WWE Forever special. Pretty much, I think all of these uh, books are sold out. The initial run of this is sold out. This book isn't available anywhere except I bought a bunch of copies because I'm a forward-thinking man and I do a lot of traveling. So. And then we got some cool new art prints. We got a Becky Lynch art print, uh, some other show exclusives that we've done over the last year. And uh, we're still working on uh, the next volume of Headlocks. We got a program next weekend for the collective that we produced a comic book style program, which I kind of think is the first thing, the first of its kind. I don't think anybody's ever done it. It's super, super cool. I'm really excited. People are really excited about it. I'm really excited to, to have it next weekend. So. Uh, we just we stay busy, you know. We just uh, we sold the, the new wrestling series to another publisher. Wow, um, you are busy. We can't really talk about it yet, um, but it's going to be uh, wrestling in the future uh, on the moon. On the moon. And, uh, it's going to be so, so cool. Um, I mean, you think wrestling on the moon? Doesn't like if you think. I mean, you think wrestling is crazy now? Like. Think about wrestling Wait till they like, send Joey Ryan to the moon. <laughs> think about wrestling in like a hundred years. Like the moon is like the entertainment planet. I mean, think about how Carney shit can get there. <laughs> so, it's going to be fun. Uh, we're doing a mini series and we're hoping if people like it that we can, you know, do a series of mini series kind of like the way Astro City has done. That's cool. Uh, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be awesome. But uh, I can't really say much more than that as of yet. Well, that's cool. Well, uh, I also noticed you have pins. Where did you get the pins from? Uh, there's a company called Lapel Yeah. I've done a lot of business with them. And, uh, Lapel Yeah. They make really cool stuff. Um, they, uh, they used to do Wrestle Crate. Um, they recently sold it. They make uh, all kinds of cool pins. And uh, I thought oh, that's this pretty would be, cool. Uh, you know, every, you want to have a little something for everybody. You know, some people like comics, some people like prints, some people like pins. Some people like my sparkling personality, so you know, I try to have a little bit, you know, a little sex appeal, you all go. of that, you know, we try to have a little of something for everybody. My wife makes these, uh, oh my these, God, uh, little, these are cool. yeah, these little virtual art clutches, so, uh, yeah, we're, uh, you know. Are you doing a panel this week? I'm not. Um, I told them I'd be available if they needed me for some stuff, but, uh, you know, I, uh, 
you say I need to, so it's all good. I'm not, uh, I don't hate that, honestly. Um, no, because it kind of takes you away from making money. Correct, correct. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm here by myself this, uh, this weekend, so I kind of got to man the booth. I have upgraded, I've got some security now. But, you know. Doing that run-in. <laughs> <laughs> doing the run-in. Kenny doing the run-in at the end. KPS, Kingston Personal Security. <laughs> Kingston Personal Security, yes. Where's my shirt with the Sharpie? <laughs> Where's your shirt with the Sharpie? Well, uh, before we let you go, how do we find you online with the comics and everything else, brother? It's all Headlock Comic, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Got a Snapchat, but I don't use it because I'm too old for it, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know. But, uh, I don't understand Snapchat. I, I'm, I'm not <laughs> old enough to call it the Snapchat, but I'm old enough to be confused by it. So, uh, you know, hit me, hit me up on my website, or uh, you know, that's where we got a bunch of stuff for sale. We got some uh, 99 cent digital downloads, uh, stories I wrote with uh, Mustafa Ali, Jeff Cobb, Hurricane, and Donovan Dijak are up right now. Wow. Uh, relatively cheap, fun little stories. And, uh, you know, you can find me. I'm behind it all, so, you know, if the guy's a jerk, he is. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, uh, thanks to Mr. Kingston. Thanks to Headlocked. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Jimmy.